What's up everybody, it's Everything Chat back at it again. Now I have a crazy thing to show you all. If you all are the Jamaican fans, then you might be happy for this. If you're American fans, you might not be happy for this. Unless you're me or Aaron Brown, then you might want Aaron, then you might want Noah Lyles to get stepped on. But we were like, for the longest, we was like, man, Noah Lyles is not gonna get stepped on this year at all. He's gonna win the Olympics finally. Uh, second go around, he's gonna make it. Uh, he's gonna make it to the finals. He's gonna win this time. Uh, well, actually, he never went for the 100. I take that back. He never went for the 100. But he's going. To, this will be a fir his first time going for the 100. He already established that. Came in first. He ran what he ran. In fact, let's look at what he ran. What did Noah Lyles run again? And just to make sure. Um, but I got I, I got something uh, I want to show you all. And I think Noah Lyles is afraid. I think he's afraid. I really do. Noah Lyles look scared. He did. He got asked a question last night about somebody I'm gonna show you all, and his reaction was, look at his face. Look at his face. See, that looks more serious. He better he better come with that energy though, with this guy, this Jamaican. He better have this energy. But he ran, and you know, we're not gonna talk about 200, because I don't know this, this other guy I'm gonna show you all can do the 200. I don't think Noah's gonna beat no allows in the 200 anyway, except for Mayor Aaron and Iden. But let's look at the 100. He ran a he ran a 983, right? So he ran a 1001, 996, 985, 992, 980, and 983 legal. All right, and that's no allows. Now let's look at this guy. I'm gonna show you his times. Born 2001, 22 years old, Jamaica. Kashin Thompson. Nobody has heard of this guy ever in their life. And I think Thompson here, I think Mr. Thompson here might pull a, a Marcel Jacobs from the Tokyo 21 Olympics. A nobody that nobody knows except for people in his home country. And out of nowhere, he just pops out of the blue, beats all your favorite runners, and now he's the man of the show. Place. He's, he has the 14th place in the 100 meter, and that's the scary part because nobody even knows who this guy is. He doesn't run in college. He's 22, but he never ran in college here. And let's look at what he just ran. He ran one race, one 982 legal. Oh, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look how many races he ran. Look at Noah Lyles. Look at all these races he's ran. He's perfectly in shape. 983 982 983 now if we put this win into perspective then technically if it was zeroed out when no allows would be faster but that wouldn't matter because it's still legal time so it really wouldn't matter too much um they ran in Kingston 982 like who is this guy so let's let's go let's take a look um, this was released by the Jamaica Observer. Um, it was who was the author? Who's the author? Oh, Paul A. Reid. Okay, so we're gonna read right here. Kingston, Kingston, Jamaica, Kishin. And if I'm butchering the name wrong, uh, the Jamaicans, if you're watching my video, let me know if I'm saying this name right. Kishin Thompson, as he did a year ago, shook up the national stadium with a massive personal best in 1082. I mean, I'm sorry, 982. I think I said 982. I think I was saying 1082 for this too. 982. I'm sorry if I did mess it up. The fastest in the first round of the men's 100 national championships in his first race of the season. So, so has Noah, not Noah, but has Hussein Bolt never ran this fast in the first run in Jamaica? I mean, I guess if he doesn't need to, there's no point. Um, a year ago, Thompson came almost out of nowhere to shock the fans with 991 seconds to run the first round but did not show up for the semifinals and then lowered his personal best to 1085 seconds later in the season so did he get injured so we probably would have known about him last year but i guess he got injured y'all let me know in the comment section too for the jamaicans if you're if you're close to him let us know what happened to him last year and why we don't know who he was because he definitely could have stepped on uh noah Lyles and fred curly not fred curly um trayvon bromel with him last year in budapest on Thursday, he confirmed whispers of something big coming as he equaled a bleak Seville's personal best run at the Racers Grand Prix. Joint second in the world behind Fermanet Omeyalas. That's the guy from, a, he's a Kenyan police officer on world lead in 979. I'm not really worried about this guy, though. He only runs fast in Kenya. They have, like, a stupid elevation. 
Defending champion Seville was his usual smooth self as he clocked 998 seconds. Joaquin Blake was a, a, a utter runner under 10 seconds with 995. Julian Forte was impressive with a season's best 10 seconds. The same time ran by Sandre Davidson, Raleen Ford, clock 10.02. Okay, let's just talk about them. So, yeah, this guy right here, this guy right here, barely any pictures. I went to his Instagram. He barely has any pictures. But um, I'm, I think Noah Lyle should be scared. I'm scared. Now, what they need to do is see if he's on, uh, if he's on pads. Look at that face. You need to see if he's on pads like uh on he on that dope like Arian Dian and uh Osama Singa and uh a lot of these other runners that's been uh getting called out lately. Those King those uh you was I think it was the King and Distance runners, I can't remember. A lot of people have been uh found out on dope lately. I would definitely um check this guy. You know, they're gonna check Noah Lyles too, don't get it twisted. I don't want them just check him, check Noah Lyles too. But we've seen what's been happening lately. People been caught on that dope, and I only say that because for him specifically, for him to just have his one race, for him to just race one time, one time, and run a 982, nah, so I might need to check that. And I'm not saying he, I'm not saying he is doing it, <clears throat> but that that we can't lie here and not say that that's not fast for a first race. That's a little too fast for a first race. Especially from somebody that nobody knows of. He didn't run at no Power 5 SEC school, D1 school. He didn't He didn't do none of that. So for him to do that, I, I would I would definitely, um, I would definitely check that out. But, um, Noah Lyles is going to be kind of, uh, he's going to have to worry about, um, he's going to have to worry about Kashane Thompson. Because he's not used to this. I don't know if he's worried about Oblique Seville. He seems very confident he can beat Oblique Seville. But, um, I don't want to get a copyright strike, but y'all watch this video right here. Noah Lost reacts to Kashane Thompson's 9200 and Jamaican uh, Olympic trials. He looked nervous. His face showed nervousness. His face really showed nervousness. But y'all let me know in the comment section below what do y'all think. Do y'all think uh, Kashane Thompson is going to do a Marcel Jacobs and just come out of nowhere and just win? Just like that. N nowhere. Out of nowhere. Get his sponsorship, everything. Just win. Beat everybody. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. Um, but if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 6K. Let's please get there. I appreciate all of you all. Um, even the Jamaicans. I like y'all, all right? Uh, I'll see y'all later. All right, peace.